Hi, everyone, and you're listening to The Fashionista File, brought to you by True Fashionistas. I'm your host, Jennifer Johnson, and today we are here with Mimi Von Schreiner. Hi, Mimi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fabulous. It's so awesome to have you. Oh, my gosh. I am beyond chuffed to be here. This is so exciting. So those of you who may or may not know Mimi, she is a local realtor and fashionista. She's the double double threat. (laughs) Um, and I have to say, Mimi, every awards, any, any award show that I know is coming on, I always have my phone sitting with me because I'm always checking your Facebook page because you, everybody knows that you post (laughs) all of the looks and we have all kinds of rhetoric going on the whole time of the show. Yep. For sure. For sure. It's something I started doing like sidebar with my sister just because we got a giggle out of it. And then a few years ago, I just posted what, you know, some things like observations that I had made and then people just kind of really responded to it. And now I have people who will message me two (laughs) or three days before. Oh my God, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you're going to say. That's so funny. How do you come up with these? And you know, it's, it's just been sort of a sidebar thing that has just kind of blown up, I guess, a little bit. Anyway, it's brought me here to you and I'm very excited. And you know what? It's just hilarious. I think the next award show to hit that we need to do a Facebook Live. Yes. So a Facebook Live party. Right. Where we're in the room and we invite some guests and we're sitting there commenting on what the people are. Okay. Yes. So a real life like Joan Rivers and yes. her whole yeah, Posse. let's do it. I Isn't would, I would love it. And I have had numerous people ask if they can come sit on my couch and watch <laughs> with me, which is a little fabulous and a little creepy all at the same time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're like, I want to be in my pajamas and watch this by myself. Right. I can promise you I'm not wearing a gown <laughs> you're, when you're, I'm watching. Uh, you're, oh, you're, yeah. yeah so I did here? bring props today. So look <laughs> at how cute these are. I got these. We were in Miami for oh, spring my break and I bought these, their shoots. And I just, I thought they were so fun and they were so Grammys appropriate. So, so for I those of you who can't see, it is a um, a tan mule with clear sides and rhinestones and it is Grammy all day long. Right? Isn't it? Aren't <laughs> they it. perfect? Anyway, so I just felt like in case we needed a little, you know, inspiration. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. We're going to get into this, what I call mashup. Okay. Okay. We're going to be Guys, for our, our people that have seen this on video, we're looking at our computer screen. And mm-hmm. those of you that are listening, um, that's what we're doing. We're looking at our computer screen just to so we can look at what they're wearing and uh, just have some casual conversation about what they're wearing. Love okay? it. First up, Lil Nas X. <gasps> Lil Nas X. So he always brings it. He delivers. A hundred percent. And, you know, the first time he did it was sort of this pink chaps cowboy business a few years yes. ago. And it really blew my doors off in, <laughs> in a way that just like even Billy Porter had never blown oh my, my doors gosh, off yes. before. Right. Cause he's another one of my favorites. Um, this is Ballman and it is absolutely beautifully constructed. And he has these crazy, like full on, um, sort of Herman Munster at a drag brunch kind of shoe happening, which I just, I am obsessed with. And he was so incredibly tall on the carpet Mm -hmm. compared to everybody else. Um, It it was just gorgeous. And he was feeling it. He was, it was him. And I love, love, love all the pearls that are encrusted on this. Well, you love a pearl. I love a good pearl. (laughs) Usually I'm never without pearls, but I, know. I was going to oh, say, I'm wearing a pearl today. Look at that. <laughs> it's so classy and it just fits him beautifully. Yes. And yeah, the construction just, was yep. perfection. And you know, that's something a lot of times I notice on the carpet. I feel like considering how many hands are on some of these dresses, oftentimes I feel like, or out, uh, you know, ensembles, sometimes I feel like they're not tailored exactly to the person. It's right. almost like it was tailored to the runway model and they just didn't quite have time to yep. make it right. And his was just, you could tell they built it for his body and he has an incredible he does. figure and anyway. It fit like a glove. Yeah. yeah. So we, we're going from, we're segueing from oh, somebody Lord. who is so <laughs> fabulously dressed, right? Uh-huh. To someone in my opinion. Okay. So this is <laughs> Michelle Zoner of Japanese breakfast. Mm-hmm. And I think she was wearing her breakfast plate on her body. A hundred percent. I mean, I just don't get it at all. I mean, it really looks like she's wearing scrambled eggs. And so- then when I saw her name was <laughs> Japanese breakfast, the, the group was, or she goes by or whatever combination of Japanese breakfast. 
I really just laughed out loud. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I it couldn't so handle it when I saw on your Facebook post <laughs> a picture of scrambled eggs. I'm like, oh my God. At first I'm thinking butter stick. Yes. And then I can you see said that. scrambled eggs. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> that's funny. It just I, I, just, I just, that's all I could think of the minute I saw it. And then when I realized what her name was, it just, I mean, you just can't even make it up. And, and I'm wondering, <laughs> okay, so you remember, and I don't remember if this, I think was the Oscars, maybe okay. the swan dress. Yes. Okay. That was Bjork. Okay. So how long did we have that conversation mm -hmm. forever? So perhaps that's where she was going with this. I maybe, don't know. Maybe. And you know, a lot of times, sometimes I find, especially a lot of our Asian artists, especially the musical artists, they tend to go very sculptural with what yes. they wear. It tends to sort of trend that way. And so I don't know if that was the idea. It just, it wasn't flattering. The color was no good on her. And it just, it was just such a miss. And she has, I mean, a knockout. She you know, does. Figure. I love her shoes, but. I do too. But <laughs> not again, it looks like she's wearing little eggs on her feet You're too. Right. I, that I, you was know. a mess of a mess. It was a, a mess. mess and a miss. Yes. Uh, in the in same. Every, yes. In every way. I totally agree. All right. Uh, next up, we have SZA. Is that how you say it? Yes. SZA. That is correct. Okay. Yep. yep. What's your take on this? So she's wearing, um, who, let's see, who, who is did she this wearing? Dress? Um, yeah. It's a Jean-Paul Gaultier and it's okay. a tulle dress with embroidered flowers. It's kind of like an hourglass mm -hmm. mermaid kind of dress. So this one left me a little conflicted, I have to say. Um, there were things about it that I thought were really beautiful. I thought the embroidery work was beautiful. I thought it was actually relatively understated for Gautier. So I was surprised it was Gautier. I actually thought it was going to be Dolce. And then it, it was- It does have a Dolce yeah. color to it if it were just the tool. But, right. you know, I guess the flowers too. I think so too. I I mean, I think the, I think she wears it well. It's good on her figure. The color, you know, I, I and maybe it didn't photograph well. Sometimes we have to remember right. that too. In person, mm -hmm. it might have made more of a statement. Some people had it on the best dressed and some people had it on the worst dressed. I sort of felt I, whatever about it. I, yeah, I don't you know. You were indifferent and that's kind of where I'm at. Indifferent. I could have done with all the, without all the embroidery and, and saw just a basic tool dress yes. in a pop of color. Like, okay, let's talk about color. Yes. Everybody wore, I think it's oh all our gosh. favorite color, which yes. is pink. Everybody was pink. wearing it. So yes. if this were a bright pink, it would have stood up and looked amazing. Mm -hmm. It's true. And I felt like almost in a way, I mean, I understand a little bit why she picked it, but it, it didn't feel very Grammys like somehow it, it, it didn't feel quite edgy enough. Right. You know, More it Oscar. was too sweet. It was More just Oscar. a little bit sweet. And, um, but I mean, she's gorgeous. Like, Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yes, absolutely. All right. <gasps> next oh, up. I have so many opinions about this <laughs> next two. I can't wait. <laughs> it is, um, <laughs> Cynthia Arrivo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And she is wearing a Louis Vuitton ensemble that's all draped and there's lots of fabric. Lots of fabric. So this is something that I think is very interesting. And I was talking to a friend of mine about this yesterday. We saw it a lot at the Oscars. We're seeing it mm -hmm. here. Vuitton has done this whole warrior vibe that yes. they've been showcasing. I think this, a lot of it came from me too. I think a lot of it came from COVID, this idea that we have to protect ourselves with what we're wearing somehow. Mm -hmm. So they've started this very kind of bondagey, corseted, breastplates, you know, the long sleeves like chain mail. Yes. It's sort of become a thing. And and they Wheaton's not the only one who's doing it, but we saw they, chain mail on the right on the red. Versace carpet. had a mm -hmm. chain mail. Yeah. And that one was really gorgeous. But it, so it's something that I think has it's sort of the art of what's been going on has right. translated. I hated I hated this it look. too. It's I just, too much. It was way too much. It wore her. There was yes. too much going on. She didn't seem like she feel that she felt that great in it mm -hmm. to me. I, and she is just, I mean, ridiculously talented. Very talented. And is usually she likes a lot of edge and she brings edge to almost every mm -hmm. carpet I've seen her on. And she really matches with that designer a lot. Um, this was just a no for me though. Yeah. I, I would be in that same bucket. It's a no for me. I didn't like all the fabric. It was just no. a lot of texture, a lot yeah. of fabric, a lot of stuff going on it was that so we busy. couldn't see her beautiful figure. We just saw 
lots of fabric. Mm-hmm. It was a sh- it was a shame too because I bet she had a lot of people clamoring to dress her. Oh, I'm sure. And I'm that's sure she what did. you know. Hmm. And then, <laughs> <laughs> well, man, wouldn't you love that? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah, you I have to choose who I want to dress me. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> the mind reels sometimes. All right, <gasps> now we are going to who has hit pretty much every best dressed list I have yeah. seen for the Grammys, Lady Gaga. She is wearing a, an Armani Privé, mm-hmm. um, very old Hollywood gown. What yes. are your thoughts on this? Well, you know, a lot of people I know are missing sort of, uh, you know, Gaga and her little monsters and like, you know, that yes. whole phase of Gaga. They're a little tired, you know, or the Joanne phase or you know, the Bradley Cooper phase. She's been in sort of this old Hollywood for a while glam phase for a mm-hmm. while and her Tony Bennett albums, which I'm obsessed with both of them. But I just, I love her so much. She has just, she's so incredibly gracious and this dress just suited her so beautifully. And I loved the Tiffany necklace. Oh, oh I know, my God. right? I mean, draped in Tiffany's. It was just mm. gorgeous. And what she wore to perform in. Yes. That Tiffany, speaking of Tiffany, Tiffany blue gown with yes. that huge Marilyn Monroe-esque mm-hmm. bow off the back. I mean, and the little silver shoes. I mean, she just, I just love her so much. She exudes classiness. When, she she really does. But she really I, does. You know, when, and I don't remember when that switch happened, but she literally did do the overnight. Yeah. She switched from her, you know, her little monster stuff to, yeah. to this just she blossomed. She did. She did. Although I will say she had a huge miss on one of her carpets when she was promoting the House of Gucci movie, which I loved. If you have it was a great if movie. you have not I it, yes. seen it, I abs- anybody on the cast just it is such a romp. I loved that. I and mean, she was great in it. But she wore a dress, a Gucci dress that had these weird like <laughs> black kind of hand prints over the front. Oh. Anyway, it was not this moment. Let's just put it <laughs> She has her hits and misses. Uh, yes. And this was definitely for me was, was a hit. Although some people felt like um, it was maybe a little subdued, you know, for too the, safe. for her. Yeah. Too safe to, mm-hmm. to, to something. But I mean, you can't go wrong looking like that. I, I mean, mean, this is just my jam. You know, she's in my lane. This is this yeah. is hundred percent me. I just and I loved think it. You, you, uh, you gravitate towards the things that you like. Yeah. For sure, you know? for sure. And so. that for me was just such a win. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about the Beavers. The okay? Beavers, yeah. The Beavers. So, oh, my Lord. I, oh, my gosh. His song was amazing. Yeah, and, and that was actually my, really great. I got my husband singing, and I, I must have fallen asleep <laughs> during a little portion. Oh, my God. Because he's singing the song, and I'm like, what are you singing? Yeah. And he's like, let me rewind it. So he rewound it. We rewatched it. The performance it. was actually really great. And it I was. have not seen Justin Bieber perform in a hundred years. I, to be honest, I didn't even really realize a hundred percent. He was still kind of making <laughs> I new think. music, I, I, to be <laughs> honest. And, uh, and of course, the song's been everywhere. It didn't register that it was him right. until I saw it. And, um, and he was just hot and great. Mm-hmm. I, I loved everything about it, but not what's on your screen right it, now. It, yeah, his performance <laughs> and, and all of that was fabulous. Uh, basically, if you did not see this, he was wearing an oversized like grandpa blazer with a bright pink stocking hat. So he did get one thing right, the color of his hat. He okay? was on trend with his, with his hot with pink. That. Yes. And Haley's dress. Okay. You, mm-hmm. I know. I didn't love it because it literally looked like she was wearing a bed sheet. Mm-hmm. It just had no shape, no style. And she no had no nothing. jewelry. I mean, she just looked so minimalistic. It just, it literally looked like the two of them rolled out of bed. It was, it was yes. so strange. And I mean, I said on my Facebook page that this, first of all, I was absolutely gobsmacked to find out it was Balenciaga. Her dress was? No, his grandpa suit. Oh my God. No, I didn't actually know that. Uh, hello. Oh, my God. Does that not really now blow wow. your doors off? So, I mean, he really looked like he was on silver alert, <laughs> escaping from some, oh you know, old old yes, people oh facility. I mean, he just looked like he needed to be, you know, picked up by the mm-hmm. authorities and brought back home. It that, just did not do anything for him. It was terrible. It was you just know? so bad. It was so bad and so unnecessary. I mean, yeah. I just, I didn't even understand. Sometimes people make a choice that, Look, I don't agree with mm-hmm. 
personally, but I get why it spoke to them. I get, you know, Laverne Cox, who was working yes. for the E Channel, and who did I, amazing. I watched the whole incredible. thing. Incredible. Yes. Absolutely. Just one of the best yes. interviews, you well, know. And she kept asking people, what are you trying to say with what you've chosen? Yes. Which I thought was a really interesting question. I cannot imagine what he was trying to say. I mean, there just is no story that, right. that makes sense other than, you know, because mentally unstable. <laughs> because her, and we'll get to her, her in a little bit, yeah. but she, I, I know why she wore what she wore. Correct. And it made complete sense. It did. And I actually liked it better when I heard I did hers too. story. And I saw the picture of yeah. what was she was emulating. And I totally yes. was like, oh, I get it. Yeah. This I don't get. I don't understand. And, and you know, yeah. maybe it's part of, whatever statement they want to make. We're minimalistic. We're this, we're that fine, but okay. it, it's a fail uh, for me. Huge. <laughs> and me too. Huge. All right. Um, next up we have uh, Dua Lipa oh. and she's in vintage Versace. Versace. Now, oh my gosh. Now it's very bondage. Very much so. Very much because it's vintage, right? So this is right. very much the Elizabeth Hurley oh, yes, era yes, when she wore the safety so. pin dress. I think this is was from I, I understood this was from Donatella's like personal Versace. Yes, it was, you know, mm -hmm. cupboard basically. And of course, they're about the same size because they're both just incredibly. And we'll talk about thin. Donatella here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> she's because oh like, but I First of all, I didn't even recognize this was Dua Lipa because of the hair. So yes. she very much channeled Donatella, mm -hmm. which I thought was really incredible. And I'm sure Donatella was incredibly, you know, excited about the Flattered. whole thing. Yeah. I mean, how could you not <laughs> right? Be? And she looks absolutely gorgeous. I loved this dress. I loved that she had all this crazy chunky gold jewelry with it and also on her wrists. Um, and I, you know, there was something oddly with her makeup and the hair that was almost gender bender in a way. I think like the super strong brow and things. It took me a minute. I didn't realize it was her. Then right. I thought maybe it was one of our incredible like trans, sure. you know, family. And I'm like, mm, no, that's Dua Lipa. So there was just all kinds of ways that I thought it but was I, fabulous. I see the the channeling Donatella with yeah, the hair, yeah. with the blonde straight hair. Right. Um, I do really love the chains. I did love too. the chains. Um, it was so Grammys to me. This was just perfect. Yeah, I I do. It definitely fits Grammys. Yes, it's very edgy. Yep, and um, it was tailored beautifully. This is my other thing. It fit her perfectly. It did. It wasn't too long. She wasn't stepping on it. It wasn't gapping in weird places. So I I appreciated that. They they that's one thing that. Versace tends to do much better than, Absolutely. than a lot of people. And it's perfect for the grand, in my opinion. Okay. Um, St. Vincent. I don't know who St. Vincent is. Yeah. No, no, no. I wasn't. That was the first time I'd heard their brand. And actually, I, I meant to do some looking about it. Yeah. This is. um. So she's wearing Gucci. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Her brand. I don't know. I've never heard of her Gucci, obviously. You know. Yeah. But know. I've never heard of her. I, no, oh. I hadn't either. And I think. um. This dress, so so I posted this dress on my page and I said she was sort of in bloom because the <laughs> dress has these very sort of carnation-esque, very fluffy kind of 40s bed, bedroom jacket feel to it, which I actually really loved, the sort of Ginger Rogers-esqueness mm -hmm. of it. I thought it was really beautiful and I thought the color combination was really interesting. Quite polarizing, though. Not everybody agreed. Like, and look at her shoes. Yeah, the shoes. I never I saw confused. the shoes. The shoes are confusing. You know, I and agree. I think I commented saying, I think that she looks like Mrs. Roper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you weren't the only one. Some people just really didn't get it. In motion, I thought it was more interesting. Um, but it was, I mean, it was a lot. And I was a little surprised that it was um, Gucci. I, I don't know. There was I, just right. something about it that was, but they've done a lot of this iridescent. This has been sort of an, an, a newish and you can see that woven in yes, to yeah, the dress. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. And Gucci's, you know, for me, Gucci's like, it's it's kind of a love hate relationship. They, they've really, they're, they've been kind of, for me personally, like all over the Yeah. Map. It's on or, on or off. It's on or off. You yeah. Just, it's weird. It's not like you're going to love a whole collection. You may right. love a piece out of the collection. Right. You know, but right. I right. agree. So but the, yeah, and the styling I thought could have been better with that. All right. We have BTS. Oh my God. My little K poppers. <laughs> I am so obsessed with these boys. So I, I really don't, I know one of their songs, tr truthfully. I mean, I'm old enough to be all of their mothers. 
so it's not really my my jam. Um, but I thought they looked great. I loved these exaggerated lapel pins that they were, you know, a couple of them were doing kind mm-hmm. of this crazy. And I loved how they were sort of color coordinated, but not, you know, crazy. And they just looked very kind of mm, sort of like the old boy groups of, and you KOTV know, the, the, yeah, the and boys to men. Yeah, and but, but who else? classy, <laughs> like they almost had sort of a a Frank Sinatra, you know, oh, rat packy kind of vibe, very which, much so. which surprised me from from my little K poppers. I love hair. these. Guys. Yeah, I, they're just cute as bugs. Yeah. I mean, look how cute they are, and they were so jazzed the they whole were. show, and they were so cute in the audience, and they were dancing to everybody's song, and they're just so much right with these boys. They, I don't know. I, awesome. I thought they looked great. They did look great. My only miss was the big flowers. I didn't. Oh, you love, didn't like I, them? Oh, I thought they were kind of fun. And, and I think the reason was that I, I wanted to just see a clean color palette. Yeah. Very. And they weren't the only you know. ones that did big flowers. There I were know. a couple other gents uh, that were quite Easter eggy with the big flowers. So yeah, what's that? That's sort I, I don't of an know. interesting I mean, it's too. spring. It's florals. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not maybe. sure. Oh, <laughs> oh, here we go with Megan V. Stallion. And she is trying to rock it out, <laughs> trying in a Roberto Cavalli. It's very on brand with her. Agreed. But not my favorite. It reminds me of Cache. Uh, you know, it just... It fit her beautifully. Of course, everything does. She mm-hmm. has an absolutely stunning figure. Um, it was on brand for her. She loves an animal print. Yes. It just, for me, it was too, too Wilma Flintstone, too just, it looked like a costume. Like yes. I'm going to a jungle party and this is what I've, you know, sure this does. is what I've chosen to wear. I don't know. It was okay. I mean, she she just could do so much better. That's in my lit. Opinion. Woohoo! <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. We we all may have. We almost saw a little something, something there. Oh my yep, gosh. It was high. <laughs> and then we go to Chrissy Teigen. Ooh, I'm so oh. curious to see what you think about this, only because you know, you and I love pink. We do. And this was a lot. She was a lot. This was a big she was. pink, foofy bit of cupcake meringue. It Barbie. fulfilled every Barbie princess dream I ever had. She looked so happy and radiant in it. Um, but it was massive. Okay. So it was massive, but because she's tall, like you yeah. or I, I'm 5'1 <laughs> on a really good day. We would have really looked like um, a cupcake. We, there, we, yeah, we could not wear this, but <laughs> no. she can rock it out. She can wear this. I loved everything about this dress. Now, I know people, some people are going to be like, oh, I hated it. Yeah. It was too big. It was too poofy. It was too pink. But for me, too I mean, pink. again, I, I know, right? <laughs> I, and again, we're doing this show just to give our opinions. Right. Other people may have theirs, and that's fine. It's, you know, everyone can yeah. have their opinion. We're just hashing it out as to what we, what our ideas yeah, are. And I, I loved, loved it. it. I, loved I did it. too. I really, really loved it. And, um, you know, it, she really took my breath away when she came out and mostly because it was interesting. John came out first and did a few interviews and they were separated. And I kept wondering where she was because they're mm-hmm. always stuck like glue. And I thought, where's Chrissy? She never, she never misses. And I thought, oh, maybe she got COVID. You know, I was like, I, I had this whole thing worked out in my mind and then she shows up. <laughs> uh-huh. And he went to go get her. Oh, my gosh. And it was like just every Disney princess, Prince Charming going to say, oh, it was just, oh, just gave me goosebumps. And I've got chills right now. I had a note. (laughs) I think I knew what he was wearing. He actually, it was a velvet tux. Yes. He looked Um, smoking hot. And he's not usually one that I, I mean, he always does great. He always looks fine. But this was really this really was more um, of a statement than he often makes. Right. And I thought yeah, he must have been hot as blazes. May I, I, say. I can't even imagine, but, but it was gorgeous. Um, and the I color don't know, was gorgeous. do you know the designer of her dress? I don't either. I don't know the designer of her dress, um, but I, I just, it was beautiful. It. it was beautiful. All right. Next up is Olivia Rodrigo. So either you loved it or you hated yes. it. Yes. So Olivia's wearing a trend this sort of strap that goes across the upper part of your arm that only if you're Olivia Rodrigo size actually looks decent ish. But I kept wanting to pull the straps. Me up. too. <laughs> it just, and, and there were numerous stars. Doja Cat's dress did that too. Um, that one who was Maria and West Side Story, Rachel, something I never can remember her last name. She's such a pretty little thing. Hers did the same weird straps. 
you know, either have a strap or don't have a strap. Right. Like for me, I had trouble with that. But this is Vivian Westwood, um, which again, mm -hmm. really surprised me. This was so understated from what I'm used to seeing from that house. And I thought this little racing stripe detail was very interesting since her hit song was called Driver's License. Like I wondered uh -huh. if it was like an intentional right. nod to a race car, uh -huh. the way she had these little stripes down the front. Um, I thought her hair and makeup was lovely. I, I liked the younger kind of jewelry with the, ch you know, the, the chokers. The, yeah, the colored stones mm -hmm. and the choker and um, gloves. Gloves is another thing. Did you not notice I, everybody I had shocked. gloves? I am absolutely shocked because, yes, they did wear the long opera gloves. There was, I, I was so much like, gloves. What? And I, I don't know if this is an 80s thing because we're seeing a lot of that right. come back. I don't know if it's a COVID reaction. I feel like a lot of this mm -hmm. is like, you know. Throw on everything we can because we didn't get to wear. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't yeah. know. It's don't interesting. Know. And 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 we'll see more gloves as we go along. But yeah. what did you think about this? One? I didn't love it. Okay. Um, first, the first thing, the first time I saw it, for whatever reason, it, we we're in Florida yeah. and we have these snakes called black racers. <laughs> it does kind of look like, <laughs> and that. that's totally where I went with this dress. I and can now, see that. the more I'm looking at it, it's almost the the outline of a female body. Mm -hmm. If you can see mm -hmm. the, it, I don't love it. It's too, um, it's almost goth. It was a little bit, I, and I agree. And I feel like, it, you know. <sighs> It's not really her. It didn't really quite feel like her. I, I, I will say. I mean, but I, I thought she was gorgeous, and, and it grew on me, right? So when I first saw it, and I didn't post this one because I sort of felt like it was fine, right? It mm -hmm. wasn't worthy of like, oh my god, it was stunning, or oh, it was. It just was in between. Heinous. It was really just a tweener for me. It remains a tweener. I, it was very pretty when the lights hit it. Because sure. all those little sparkles, right. sparkles. Of course. It was very pretty when she went up on stage. Um, it falls how flat. she got up on the stage yes. in that skirt. Right. Uh, and I guess she was wearing these phenomenal Vivian Westwood heels that I did oh, not I see. Oh, I never saw but them. They commented on it. Oh, cool. Laverne Cox commented on it. Oh, and I didn't. Shoot. They I didn't. I didn't really. I missed that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Darn it. And you and I love a shoe. That's yes, too bad. Yes, we do. All right. Next up, we have Jay Balvin. Um, and... I'm not sure who he's with, with a model. Yeah, I just don't know these two. I don't either, but I want to not not necessarily comment yeah, on yeah. them. But did you notice what was with, it was like everybody was wearing a fall leaf. I'm like, did you get confused what season we're in? It was very strange. There was this sort of ombre. I mean, I likened it to candy corn. You yes. know, I just kept saying it was like electrocuted candy corn. And there was numerous ones. There Carrie was this Underwood. one. Carrie Underwood's oh. dress was this ombre awfulness that I just, she loves a princess moment. Mm -hmm. Carrie does, loves, loves a big it. ball skirt, lives for it, even though she has the legs of a thoroughbred. Oh, my I don't God. know her legs, why I mean, she ever how? hides her legs, ever. Tell me I how would you run get around those legs. With, I don't know. I, I don't know. I would run around with no pants on perpetually <laughs> if I had those stems. Maybe. Oh, uh, well, I mean, if, if you got it, flaunt it. Wear I, it. You know, she <laughs> clearly does. But yeah, this one has that that weird candy corn thing. Um, there was another gown that was like a disco sort of Studio 55 thing, very swingy, that mm -hmm. was also this black, orange, and gold ombre. And then there was a really awful thing that literally looked like candy corn. It was like a foof skirt. And I don't it was, know if I saw it that. Was indigo orange and yeah i mean it was just day it was glow. definitely it was, it a mess it was awful yeah um what about let's see who do we have next okay laverne cox we've already talked about yep her. yep um john galliano yes so i really love it for me the dress was was very very pretty i mean it was laverne too has has a you know a lovely shape i really at first, I wasn't so sure about the purple hair. So mm -hmm. she's got this sort of purple, um, you know, it, very much purple. And she has this little tuile net sort of um, very kind of 50s starlet-esque on her yes. head. Um, her hair and makeup, it, you know, the hair at first kind of threw me. The makeup I thought was gorgeous. And then the whole thing really, the more she was, I saw her in it and watched her interview and do things, I really liked it a lot. And um, I mean... Uh, you know, I just classy. Yes. I just I, think she, she, she did her job. She gave enough edge. So you knew where she was, but she wasn't yes. there to be the show. Right. She was really just, you know, doing her job. Right. And I didn't love the purple hair either. Yeah. Um, the makeup was, mm -hmm. was good for me. I didn't, I still don't know if I love the purple hair, um, but it works with what she's wearing. Yeah. So it's, 
It was very Galliano, you know, very much so. <laughs> okay, now the newlyweds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who goes course. to Vegas for the Grammys? And These gets two married? weirdos. Okay, right. Um, so we are talking about Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. Um, they got married. If you don't know, I'm sure that everybody has <laughs> mm-hmm. heard that they got married um, at some chapel. Oh, um, stars. But so he is wearing that oversized coat. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, what is she wearing? It's a jumpsuit? It's a jump. I believe it's a jumpsuit. Um, first of all, I don't I don't really understand why they were there. You know, right. it's like there is no carpet without a Kardashian, it seems like, these days. I just personally, I think she's just, I think they're just so strange together. And I just think she's been so strange since the, I don't, I don't know. There's just the whole thing. It just, the fact that they were there, what they were wearing was well, they really were there to get married. Great. Maybe I know I didn't, we didn't know we were at their risk, you know, right? at their rehearsal dinner. Um, it, it was just strange. And then he, he, you know, he full on, like they made out in the oh, middle of the carpet and it was just gross. I just think they're gross. Yeah. And I, I think what they're wearing is just no atrocious. It was atrocious. 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 It wasn't appropriate. It wasn't edgy. It wasn't pretty. It was, much like I wondered why they were there, I wondered why those were, outfits were there. Right, exactly. You know, the whole thing was just a big, huh? Right. <laughs> question mark, question yeah, mark. Yeah, right, exactly. All right, we have Billie Eilish, and oh, she Billie. is wearing Rick Owens. Okay, so we know Billie Eilish wears yes. everything oversized, everything big, so that's very on brand for her. Very much so. Where I don't love that. Yeah. But she was just on, was it the Oscars? Yes, the yes. Oscars. And she was wearing something so, sort of similar. It was black. Almost and, identical. You know. Really poofy mm-hmm. and everything. I want to see her shape because I think she has a beautiful shape, but she always covers it up. So she has a really gorgeous shape. And you're right. Like for her, she really wants the music to speak. I know. You know I, I mean, that's admirable. I know. I know. And I, I think that's a lot of what it is, right? It's just she doesn't want to be judged, you know, by how mm-hmm. she looks. She wants, you know, it to be about the art. So she, and I, I do think that's admirable. I agree with you. She did a photo shoot. I think it was for Harper's Bazaar where they dressed her up as a forties sort of pinup. Oh, she would be gorgeous. She was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I don't know if that was sort of like, I'll do it cause I'm doing it on my own terms, but I'm only mm-hmm. going to do it this once. And from here forward, you're going to continue to see, you know, hefty bag, Right. You know, chic. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't love it. I think there's a lot of ways you can make that same statement and not be in a hefty bag. But, right. you know, far be it for me. I mean, you know, I, I think she is absolutely incredible. And so she it's is. hard for me to question any choice she makes with her art. But uh, th- th- mm-hmm. I, I have read some stories about I mean, she did a I don't remember. Must have, It was an article somewhere. Mm-hmm. And um, just fascinating, very yeah. interesting. Her, you know, her and her she's brother. She's incredibly famous. smart. Oh, uh, very. Yeah, yeah. She's and a really cool. She's a really cool girl. So, it's hard for me to to not. I mean, I want to love it because I think right. she's so cool, and I'm never gonna, never have been, never will be as right. cool as she is. So I'm like, Ugh. you overlook their fashion choice because uh, yeah, I, I understand, I and that's the, hard for me. You know, I'm, I know. It I'm is. very quick to be. I like, know, Mm-mm. but you know, and I understand. I want my music to be at the forefront. Totally yes. get it. It's like the voice, right? right? Like it doesn't matter what I look like or what I'm wearing. It should be all about the music. So. Mm-hmm. I get that. I understand that. And it's, it's on brand for her. So, yeah, yeah. you know, we'll look know. past it. Oh, oh Billy Porter, yes. Billy Porter. So he is wearing a Valentino bright yes. pink suit, pants and a top. I don't know. Suit is, um, a, a suit is a little, yeah, you're right. Jen. Let's dress. think about this. I don't know it's, what it is. It's, I would say it's pants, it's pants and a top and, and a cape and a, and like a, and a, and a bed like jacket. A, yes. <laughs> it wasn't even a cape. It was sort of a, a swing coat, but really more, yes. more negligee sort of ish. I, it, when he, I mean, Billy's just one of my favorites. I love him. You know? I, I love and the pink. shoes were pink. awesome too. Oh, he had on these, like, the he had on these really sparkly kind of square toed, um, pumps. I, I, I just, I, I loved it. Um, I think he was having a great night. Mm-hmm. I think he'd been having a good time before he got to the carpet. <laughs> so like half the buttons were kind of oh. not done all the way. And like, you know, his lipstick was a little smear, I, you know, uh, Billy. you mm. know, he was living his best life and, right. and he always does. Right. And I just, I thought that this color, 
against his skin tone. Oh, it was beautiful. It was stunning, right? It and really, it was the really color was, of the carpet. It was the color, was of, the the color of the carpet. It was the this color year. of the carpet. Well, you know, this hot pink, and we're going to probably, you know, potentially see another one that also by Valentino. When they did their runway show, the most recent one, everything in the show was hot pink. The walls, the chairs, oh, yes, the yes. clothes, everything was hot mm-hmm. pink. It was like you were in a bucket of hot pink paint. And I'd love almost, to be nowhere else. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound awesome? I know. It's it's so our Just world. Just give me a hot pink cupcake and I'm in. Right? Exactly. <laughs> and so a lot of those pieces have made their way to mm-hmm. several different carpets. Biebs is Beanie, you know, Billy Porter. Exactly. And Sweetie, you know, she had a, a gorgeous, you know, Valentino too. So anyway, yes, pink, everything was think pink. It was, oh, it was, I, I love it. I did my love world. It. It's my I world. Know. Is this the one you were That's talking the about? one I was talking Rachel about. Ziegler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ziegler. Thank you. I, I just have such a hard time remembering. And that she's wearing name. Dior. It was very yes. under, understated, kind of a taupey tool. We saw a lot of tool. Very ballerina esque. Yes. Mm-hmm. We did see a lot of tool, which is interesting. It was interesting, I guess, because it was spring, you know. Probably so. I, uh, was, I was just in the middle. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen, but I'm not going to talk about it. No. And it was another one of these dresses where I just felt very motherly and I wanted to go up behind her and <laughs> pick up the straps and just pick the whole thing up. Right. The whole thing felt too low. The, the, the mm-hmm. straps across the arms just were, seemed like they were falling off, not intentionally. And then it was just sitting a little low here. Like I just felt like the whole thing needed to, to go up a, <laughs> up a notch, but I liked it. I mean, I, I thought it was it was pretty. Sweet. She's a beautiful little girl. She is. And it was a sweet look. And she's tiny. She's yes. a very, very tiny human. So I think they have to be very careful about, right. you know, what, yeah. also being a tiny human. Right. I, I understand. Like, you have to we're be both. Little, we're both very tiny. Yeah, we're yeah, we have extremely to be short. Mindful. And, you know? You know? Okay. Okay. I have to talk about this. Yes. This, style. Okay. Okay. this was very polarizing. Okay. Saweetie. <laughs> yes. Um, is wearing a hot pink Valentino yep. again. It's yep. a skirt set. But okay. When we saw the Oscars, Yes. But there were two people wearing a top, very, very similar. I yes. can't remember who they were. Um, one of them was Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes. She was wearing this Christian Dior, which did not fit her. It was like she was coming out of that. It did like, not fit I, her. It was a moment, Janet Jackson moment, something. Mm-hmm. Like I hope she had really strong glue to hold that mm-hmm. on because I mm-hmm. just, it's too much. It, it was it was just so bad. It was so bad. And, uh, and then the other one, um, it was... A different, I think that was also a Valentino. Oscar. It was um, also uh, Rachel Ziegler's co star in West Side Story. She, she, won, she the won the Oscar. That yes, was, she, she was did. wearing she, the other yes, dress. Yes, that and had I, that. I think her first name's Eva. Um, yeah, and I didn't like either of those because I didn't feel like they were tailored properly. This one I had a little bit of a similar struggle with, although I did feel like. I, I would have liked to have made the straps a little shorter so that everything picked up about half mm-hmm. an inch. Um, but I I kind of dug this sort of, that's a very Valentino bow. It that is, is very. a very classic <laughs> 50s Valentino bow. Mm-hmm. And when they do an A-line skirt, they always put that bow right here. Uh-huh. It's much more You're demure right. typically, because typically this is like a late, you know, mm-hmm. this is like a sheer top and then that little tiny yep bow here, like a very Audrey Hepburn thing. So I kind of loved that about it. The gloves again, were here a we no, are. Gloves. Were a no for me. Yeah. Loved the necklace. The, the choker is gorgeous. It crosses over in the front. It's, it's yeah. probably diamonds. I'm it sure is it's not diamonds. rhinestones. Do not say rhinestones. <laughs> it's not rhinestones. In my world, it would be rhinestones. Hers, it's diamonds. hundred percent. I, I like, I did not like the gloves, Mm-mm. but there's something I really love the skirt. The okay. skirt, and it was Loved. fitted to her very yes beautifully. That could have been really wrong. It could have been. I mean, it's okay for me. Yeah. Um, I may have done a bigger bra cup. Not that style. Okay, I yeah. would have done something a little bit different. But it's Valentino, like you said, everything was pink. I love that about it. Love the skirt. Mm-hmm. You I know, do too. It's okay. And she's so pretty. And then later in uh, later in the evening, she put on this broth of Oscar de la Renta, which was black. Ooh. And then one side of her chest was all um, like sheer fabric, but covered in this like silver lame. It, it was, it was very ladylike and very demure compared, compared to, to this, that. but it still had this sexy edge. Anyway, she, she just killed it for me the whole night. Right. I, I just thought she, she looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. And I thought her makeup and um, the color that they did for her hair and everything, like, I just thought it was 
She's she, classy. She just looked gorgeous. Yes. Classy. Yeah, she really did. Ballsy. Oh. Okay. So you're going to love this or you're going to hate I know. it. You're really typically not in between. Um, right. I don't know what, um, I think I did know what she was wearing at one point. What? Um, I don't know if I remember who it was. I'm going to look in my notes okay. to see. But um, she's got uh, Tiffany accessories going on and mm-hmm. she, it's kind of like a, space hat. So of. it's a, it's what they call a saucer. Um, yes. and I, first of all, her makeup in person was so gorgeous. I mean, she had these red, like Rocky horror picture show, you know, mm-hmm. like li- Tim, you know, lips. I mean, they were just so sparkly and, and beautiful. And the, the gown has sort of a maroon tone to yes, it. Yes, it does. Um, the hat was a really interesting choice. I'm sure there was a copious discussions <laughs> about sure whether was. to add this hat because mm-hmm. it really um, was different. It made a statement. It very did. avant-garde. Right? It was very avant-garde. And the whole dress was avant-garde is mm-hmm. the perfect word, Jen. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it was. And I had, you know, most people really, surprisingly, even some of my folks that, that, you know, usually comment and like the much more traditional mm-hmm. things. Even they were like, wow, that she really looks gorgeous. It's almost, it's almost giving me the Vivian Westwood vibe. A hundred percent. And yeah. I don't know if it is or not, right. but that it's like, I agree. it's like uh what era was that? It's like a, a pinup girl. Yeah. But yeah, it's sort of post, it's sort of uh, pre-World War II yes, with the saucer yes, hat yes, yes, and, the, yes. and the really strong lip. And it's sort of an almost an Ingrid Bergman, yes. Casablanca situation. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it I, I just really loved it. And I'm not a person that's particularly tattoo happy. Um, but on her, it works. But it works. I it love all works. Her music. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, her she's super music. talented. Oh and her, I mean, her figure, my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, now we got some men. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, now this is one that got a lot of opinions. Yeah, agreed. All right. So, so what are we looking at? Jen? So he was in House of Gucci, Jared Leto. Oh, he was um, so great in that movie. And he's actually wearing Gucci. Um, his <laughs> jacket is by Gucci. And um, what did you think? Jen? I'm I, curious what you thought, Jen. It was over the top. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what the first step was coming out of his sleeves. Yeah. I could have done without that. And then the rest of it would have been okay. Mm-hmm. But I did not love whatever that is coming. <laughs> it it was interesting. Work. Yeah. So Gucci always loves like a bear moment. You know, they, yeah. they, they love a faux fur, you know, that, mm-hmm. that, that moment. Um, I, I agreed. The sleeves were kind of interesting. The jacket was almost like a lamb's wool sort of um, kind of a modeled pattern, yes. but then the sleeves didn't make much sense. And then he had this vest. And in this picture that we're looking at, you can't really see it in person. It was actually really beautiful. It's all like beaded, beaded. Yes. and detailed. And it, it, it was very shimmery. Um, his hair is so <laughs> shiny. I, know, I right? just could not stop looking. Hair. Yes. Because we're blondes and, and it tends to be, we don't get the shine, right. you know, as much. And I just was obsessed with his yeah. hair. I mean, I just think he is so ridiculously talented and, and he always wants to take a risk on the carpet. He's and, never uh, safe. It's, in and, and house, it's, and in house of Gucci, oh of course, my God. I mean, trans, <laughs> transformative. Yeah. You didn't even know that it was, Mm-mm. there's no way you would know. In no. fact, I had to look it up. I to went, see who, who was. is this? Yeah. And I went, no, yeah. it can't be him, I but know. it was. I know. I know. He was so great. And, uh, and, and he was having a great time, yes. you know, that night. So, you know, it's Jared. I mean, if it was anybody else, I would be railing, but you know, it's Jared. Right. And I love seeing a man and, and the men really did bring it. So, they I mean, did. there were, really did. there were some really, you know, uh, like Trevor Noah, he had on a gorgeous pink double breasted, um, jacket. I mean, he looked he did, he so looked really handsome good. and, and I don't usually say that necessarily about, <laughs> about what he wears, but it, he looked great. And, um, Brandy Carlisle, a beautiful, yeah. beautiful tux, very beaded, mm-hmm. um, great performance. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, just, it's very on brand for her again. It is it's, very on brand. It's very, you know, Grand Ole Opry. Yes, uh, you know, much. it was very much a throwback to sort of, uh, you know, all of the country stars of yore. Um, she Almost was Elvish. She kind was of like yeah, El- Elvis. It, it was Elvis ish, exactly. <laughs> and she was thrilled to be in it. You could tell Absolutely. she felt really, really great. Mm-hmm. It was beautifully constructed. I feel like it was a jacket that was actually designed for a man yes. that they retrofitted. So the sleeves were way too boxy for me. I, I would have liked it so much better if they had tailored the sleeves more to a feminine and, and the whole jacket body, you know, if they'd made it like a little right. more um, 
to her shape. Uh, but it was really cool. I agree. I agree with that. I love the look of it. But yes, it could have been a little bit more. And she loved it. You know, Mm -hmm. so for me, a big piece about fashion is how the person feels in it, right? So it might not be something that I respond to, but if they're glowing in it, I mean, that's why you do what you do, right? Yep. And you have to wear it. It can't wear you. Right. And that's when when right. it all comes out. Right. And you see it all the time. You I know, do. In the store, people I do. come in and they'll put something on that they didn't think they could wear. And then, you know, they just feel great. And right. It, you know, so that, that's worth a lot to me, but, she, and she really loved it. I didn't love it, but she did. Yep. And that's, Oh, now here, own, right? here's one you and I oh, already talked about. Okay, so we are on opposite <laughs> That's ends a great of the, picture of that. It actually. is. Kelsey Ballerini. So she's known for wearing kind of retro items. She's very safe. Too. Yes. And and like what we said before, when we were chatting before we came on, you know, um, she does a lot of this kind of thing. And sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's a miss. Yes. Yep. For me, this time it was a miss because I felt... Um, <laughs> my 80s or nine early 90s prom dress come out. And I was uh-huh. like, no, uh, yeah. but you liked it. I, you know, I did. I loved how it was constructed on her shape. So the the lines of it were very interesting to me. And the way that it had sort of this, the top comes sort of straight across and then it's got these little cutouts a little bit yes. on the side. And then the bow is very much offset, but um, the bow was very sculptural, but also not massive, you right. know, but I absolutely recognize this <laughs> as an 80s dress too. And so I didn't post about this one because I felt like it was very her. It was. it was very her. She loves this kind of moment. I thought she looked beautiful. I thought the dress was not terrible, but it wasn't great. You know, it just sort of, it was fine. It was fine. It yes. Was fine. It was fine. And it's fine's fine. fine. You know, fine is, well, I mean, I'm just so glad we had so many things, you know, so many people to talk about, I right? Know. It's been so long it has. since we've had carpets and, and, and fun and, you know, froth. So I, I and now know. we're, you know, it was fun. It's, it's fun. It's very fun. Tiffany Haddish. Oh my goodness. Um, all Tiffany. sequins all the time. One yes. shoulder, uh, dress. Uh, I do not know the designer of yeah, this one. You know, I didn't know who did this one either. Um, I thought maybe it was Vuitton, but I only say that because she wore another dress on stage um, that was black and kind of green sparkles. So what sort of? was with, there were so many outfit changes that yeah. I was like, cause I, we were talking earlier yes, and we'll yes, talk yes. about that shortly right. about Donatella Versace, how yeah. she came in wearing one thing. I've never carpet. seen people other than presenters. Yes. I've never seen anybody do a costume change. I can't even figure out where they were doing it. The ladies room. I mean, what was <laughs> that? Like, did they have their team like they hiding must. in the big stall, you know? And like, uh, I, I couldn't figure it out. It was crazy. And she had a wardrobe change and, um, Tiffany is just adorable, right? So she just cracks me up anyway. Oh my and, God. and I thought yes. that this color was really cool. I and loved it. It was gorgeous. I have to, all I kept thinking though, is that it seemed like it was kind of scratchy. Oh, I, you know, what? <laughs> like all this fire face. And I, I, I just would have been like clawing my. And I wonder, I mean, <laughs> that little poof at the top yeah. could have been a little bit smaller. Yeah. Because yeah, you turn your head and it's like, oh, <laughs> and she's a pretty girl. And she's worked really hard on her, you know, being fit and healthy. And, mm-hmm. you know, she's had a lot of conversations about, you know, wanting to, to, to feel healthier. And, and so she's, you know, got a great shape and, and I, I, I enjoyed the dress. I, I thought it was very Grammys a- appropriate too. Yes, you know, it was I fun. And it. she felt like, talk about feeling great. Bucks. And, oh yeah, yeah. She loved it. You could tell. Um, okay. I don't know who this star is, Mm-mm. but I, I, I had to talk about her dress <laughs> because, um, it's Tanashi, I think is mm-hmm. how you say her name. And basically it is a Barbie pink dress, a very yes. light pink dress yeah. That looks like she is, it's looks plastic. It looks like she's wearing plastic. I mean, it's perfect if you spill. Um, <laughs> it's, you can wipe it off. <laughs> yeah. It, it just, it was an, it was a no. I liked the color of it, but that's about it. Mm-hmm. it of was, course we liked the color. Right. I thought everything else about it was awful and I just don't even want to waste the energy. I mean, it was just so ugly. All right. So we talked earlier yes. about her. Mm-hmm. Okay. And her said that her, her said that mm-hmm. her look was inspired by Aretha Franklin. Yeah. And like you said, at first you were like, I don't know. And yeah. then you found that out and you're like, yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, and if you look back, she that we actually saw a picture of it, mm-hmm. of what Aretha wore. And it's very, very similar. It, it is very similar. And um, I had an undergarment issue with this outfit because she had on sort of some kind of like, it was almost like a little tap pant underneath Mm -hmm. it. 
I would have oh. liked it better if you couldn't see that. Right. It sort of cut the line a little mm -hmm. bit for me. What was really gorgeous is I saw one picture of it where she had her arms kind of yes, outstretched and you could see all of this mm -hmm. performance detail here. I mean, the construction of it was beautiful. It, fl it was floaty and pretty. Um, again, that sort of ombre yellow orange we are, situation right? again, you know, which is really funny. It all sort of feels like Jack Tripper's couch in his company. <laughs> and so everybody was That's doing the second it. That's time we've referenced that, right? right? See? Oh my gosh. So there's clearly a 70s vibe happening I, here, right? Something. We've we've stumbled onto a trend. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and uh, Chloe, Chloe Bailey, I don't know who she's with either, but yeah. um, she was wearing, it's basically a disco ball. Yeah, it was. You know what and, I had a lot of trouble with this one was the tie in the front, holding in the her cape. front, it looked like, um, you know, when you get a package and it sort of has that like, uh -huh. thin yes, the thin strip stripping of, around yes. it, like when you get boxes at the uh -huh. store, that's what it reminded it me does. of. It was so off put the whole, that threw me. I was done from that point on. All I could see was like tying up my garbage bag with this little strap. And I, I, I was done. I, the I just, cape. And I love capes and capes are another thing we saw mm -hmm. a lot of um, as well. And we saw them at the Oscars, even half capes. And I love a cape, but that one was just, you know, I didn't. Oh, but there's one on your screen now. That I, I know really it is. Okay. So I have a story. Okay. About a Yay. Versace chainmail dress, but this is, <laughs> I do not know how you say her name. Um, Sonoa Allegra. Yes. Yep. And um, she was wearing a Versace chain mail dress. And if you don't know what chain mail is, it, it basically, it, if you know what a Whiting and Davis handbag is, that's what this is. Yep. It's um, little pieces of metal all woven together mm -hmm. to create a, a garment. And we, I don't know how many years back, but we had a Versace chain mail dress. Really? It how was fun. heavier than heavy. I bet this was too. And um, a stylist out of LA how fun. purchased it for someone to wear on the red carpet. Wow. I'm guessing that they probably remade it. I do not know, but yeah. it was open in the back and it was gorgeous, oh heavy, yeah. but gorgeous. So I can't even imagine how heavy this is, I but I either. love, 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 love this. It looks exactly like you would expect somebody to wear to the Grammys. Yes. And I mean, look at her body. Mm. But again, this is what I'm talking about. This trend of like corseted warrior wear. This is also on that same yes, it is. trend. Like, uh, you know, I'm I'm, I got this. It, it was very strong. Um, and I mean, she just looked absolutely, I had no idea who she was. I, I'm embarrassed I don't to say there were quite a few people. I didn't know who they <laughs> are. And, and, and I have to say what was fun about watching the Grammys is I actually discovered some new music that mm -hmm. I, I, I tend to get in a rut, you know, and, I do too. I'm in and anybody, lane. anybody who knows me knows that pretty much if it's much past about 1960, I don't really listen to it. And <laughs> unless it's sort of like whatever little dancey pop is happening now. Right. So I sort of have this very weird, my taste in music is very strange. I'm um, all country all the time. Oh, see, that's funny. Yeah. It's so it's, it's a bit eclectic, but anyway. Um, so I, I felt badly that I didn't really know who she was, but she looked gorgeous. She looked absolutely gorgeous. So now I don't know. We're going to talk about the one in the middle because we also have another one on here, Paris Hilton. Yes. And she's in this all sequined number. But then we had this dress. I don't know her name. It doesn't say who mm -hmm. she is. It does, but I I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it was the butterfly dress that was lace yes. underneath. And then it was tulle and butter. lace. It was like, it was, it was tulle. It was lace. It was butterflies. It was. And it was like the butterflies were literally taken off the dress and almost flying. Yeah. <laughs> I crazy, really, but. I felt very, so I posted this one and most everybody thought it looked like undies. Like mm -hmm. they just didn't get it at all. They thought it looked discombobulated and unfinished. And I just, in motion, it was a little bit better. It was a little. It was a little bit better, but I, I think it was a good idea. I'm just not sure if it was as ex well executed as and I it did not liked. photograph well yeah. no um so we talked about Trevor Noah yes. and he's wearing a, a pink blazer yes, very yeah. very classic very classic um <laughs> um dance hall artist spice yes showed up wearing a red robe um <laughs> I, I there's a lot going on here it's like red I don't even know I, I yeah I don't I hate it it, it was but. so awful and it was really just totally unnecessary. She's got green hair Marge and, Simpson. This, it, and this silver dress. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was like Marge Simpson on acid. It was just, oh. it was so bad. And there was another sort of sister companion to this look, which was this huge purple grape, a grimace 
situation. It was just awful. I, there, there were some really awful ones. This was for sure for me, w- w- one of them. Uh, you know, oh, there she is. There's the grape. There it is. There it is. Um, this is singer Yola. It required three handlers to, which is just to crazy. handle her gown, and she's wearing purple hair with chopsticks. <laughs> in her hair. It was just awful. It just, I don't even know. And again, I think it's all because here we are talking about it, right? Right. It's going to get them on the map somewhere. Someone is going to talk about it. It's supposed to be sort of, I think the idea was sometimes people think that this is an opportunity, like their fashion's almost like a performance art. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the idea, but I'm like, I'm sorry if Lady Gaga comes on the carpet with zero handlers and you ride up with three people needing to manhandle your dress, Eh, you know, next. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Doja Cat. Girl, bye. Doja Doja Cat. Cat. Okay, so this was one that from the ankles up, I actually really liked. But she has on these, again, these weird like Herman Munster, but strappy, thick, thick shoes. Mm -hmm. Once it got down to the shoes, I was kind of done. And she also has this weird half strap situation. And did you see her glass handbag? She's got candy in it. Yes. Is that what was I thought it was I thought it was fish. I thought it was like, oh, she's carrying a fish bowl. But it's candy inside of her And the bag was glass. Oh, I didn't even realize it was glass. That's cool. Okay. So part of me kind of I could see you liking this. this. Yeah. I kind of like this. You like a sparkle. I I love the sparkle. I like the light blue. I like that the the bra cup, if you will, is Mm -hmm. kind of poking out a little bit. Yeah, I did too. Because there's a little bit of rhinestone on it or diamonds or whatever it is Mm -hmm. they have on there. Um, I don't like the strap where it's at, but I like the fact that the the whole Mm -hmm. thing is peeking out. Didn't love necessarily that you can, it looks like the whole undergarment. You can see all of that. Yeah. But- I mean, she could, she rocked it. I'll, I'll sure give her did. that. That was that also Versace? Um, let's see. Yes, it was Versace. That's what I thought, it's, yeah. Yes. L King. Oh, L. You know, I try to give our country community a little bit of a pass. <laughs> Come on, give our country community. <laughs> well, love. because, you know, they, these go big or go home. Yes. They love a hat. You know, um, she just, to me, it was like, I, I called it lipstick cowgirl. I mean, I just, she just looked like she wrote in on Revlon. I didn't like it. I agree. I didn't like the way she, you know, she was rocking it. She felt great in it. She did. So I gave some props for that. But for the most part, it just, I didn't like it. it and I'm it, with you. I'm with like you on that. Um, a couple that we don't have pictures of, yeah. Avril Lavigne, um, very oh. goth, very skater chick, which I know is on brand for, for her. her. I, and I'm, it kind of needs to be off brand for her. I mean, uh, it's like go past it. That enough. Was when you it's were, time. You know, yeah. I, I really feel like it's, and my sister and I were having this conversation too. It's like, it's really time to evolve. The hair has not changed. It still looks like a rat's nest. Yes. You know, the dress is the same dress she's worn for the last 20 years, just a different iteration, or at least it is a dress. A lot of right. times she's just exactly. in those stupid parachute pants. I don't know. I just, I feel like she, she's due for a, a, a little Gaga. I, I, let's do a remake. Yes. Yeah. Golden Reboot. Barbie. Golden Barbie was the one was that was Golden wearing Barbie? the, um, the butterfly dress. Oh, that was, thank that was you. Gold. I don't okay. know who Golden Barbie is I and I, I need to get with the times, but <laughs> yeah. <I don't. laughs> clearly you're not alone <laughs> ah, Whatever. in our little um, dwarf here. So Mickey Guyton was another one that wore that autumnal, um, candy yes. corn look. Oh, that's what her name was. Sparkled. The fringy one. A country star as well. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I see talented, now I didn't realize that. That but, makes sense. Very talented, but didn't love, didn't love the outfit. Mm-hmm. I have to say. Um, and then we okay, we have to talk about Donatella Versace. Okay, okay Donatella. So, Donatella. Donatella. So <laughs> she comes in on the red carpet wearing what I likened to <laughs> Venus flytrap. Okay, it was green and it I had can see that lines. It was like I'm gonna, you know, it just it and was, it was very ugh. short. It was very short and it was sort of corseted, but the corset was see-through um, yes. for those who didn't see it. And then she had these thigh-high boots mm-hmm. that matched. Yes. Um, I just, to me, it looked like Oscar the Grouch. I know. I laughed when I saw I that. I just I'm couldn't, like, oh the color, and, and it wasn't a great color on her no. anyway, in my opinion. I don't think it was a flattering color. Um, I mean, she has also a, a lovely shape. I just, I didn't. Okay, so then, I just didn't like so it. So then we're talking about costume changes yes. because then again, she came up on the stage to take off the cape or something from right. Um, it was Megan the Stallion and uh, uh, I can't I remember. Whoever Both all wearing yes. Versace. And was it Dua Lipa also? Might have been. 
I don't remember. I don't remember either. She was wearing the bondage dress. Yes. So yeah. She came and took off her cape and she was wearing a completely different dress, which actually looked nice on her because I'm like, wait a second. Yeah. Wasn't she just in green? There were so many changes that I, I just It's interesting. It. I know. We'll have to do some research and figure out. Like I said, I don't get where they were. I don't know. <laughs> changing these outfits. The is changing just, room. Yeah. It cracked <laughs> me up. It was, I mean, it was great. It was fun to watch. Absolutely. You know? Is there anybody else that we didn't mention that you'd like to chat about? I mean, there were just, it's just so fun to have anybody to chat about. I know. It's I mean, fun. the Grammys, I think we pretty much hit sort of the highlights to her in, in my mind. Well, except for maybe the one that showed up like a Mario character. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who that I was. I don't know who it was either. What? I don't know either. She had what a sort of world? this weird dragon. Like mm -hmm. it literally looked like some sort of anime Mario, you know, Nintendo thing, yes. including in her hair. She had like. Remember there was that character Bowser that yes. used to have this mm -hmm. like, I'm forgetting what, a mace, I think yes. those are called. She had one in her hair and I was just, I, I mean, it just, I it was so lost on me. And I'm sure there was some community reasons, fans, whatever it was. Maybe but some, but maybe no. she like had a contest to figure out like what she should wear. I, I don't know, but it was, it was, it good. was absolutely crazy, crazy. And you know, uh, it, it was crazy. So as we close out, um, let's talk about our best and worst dress, starting with worst. I think that one I just mentioned for me was really, was yes. really, really the worst. I mean, second only to the purple people eater and, you know, and that, that's the red where I'm floof. going. The red floof and the purple, that was, that was they my worst dress. Bad. What about your best dressed? I would say my best dressed was Lady Gaga. I'm with you 100% um, of the way. You know, I really thought that was fabulous. My second would be that Versace chain mail. Yes. You know, was it, it was really, really beautiful and very Grammys very. esque. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to say there, there really, there were quite a lot of winners and, and it's like, it's almost like the fashion community is sort of getting their groove back because the first few fashion shows, like the golden globes, yes. which was one of the first ones mm -hmm. was a disaster. Horrible. Nothing was tailored right. Everybody was wearing the wrong color. The hair and makeup was not on point. Nobody was wearing jewelry. Like they didn't, their stylists were AWOL. <laughs> yeah. It was so weird. It was literally like Hollywood had forgotten what they were supposed right. to do. It, it was like a complete crisis. <laughs> you know, it was just like, it was fashion roadkill left, right. right, and center. And I just, I thought, wow, all right, is this, this is what it's like now. This is what we have to work with. And every show, like it's gotten a little better right. and a little better. And I think, I think they're getting more comfortable with the fact that yes, we've had some terrible things go on and we still have terrible things going on, but this is a respite for people. This is a place right. to, you know, celebrate your art, celebrate the contributions you've made as, as a community to, to film and, you know, and it's okay to celebrate that, you know, I sort of, and, and this yes. felt much more jubilant. The whole show was really very, you know, jubilant. I thought yes. in comparison, especially coming off the Oscars, which was, you know, oh, yes, <laughs> a hit, hit was... or miss, excuse oh, the pun. Oh, we got that. <laughs> So, um, again, we are, uh, our guest today is Mimi Von Treiner and she is a local realtor as well as fashionista. I thank you so much for coming on our show today, uh, and, um, chatting about everything Grammys today. Oh my gosh. It was so fun. And I just want to take two seconds and say congratulations to you on the new store. Thank it you. is an epic <laughs> space. I love that the two stores are combined, yes. um, because I'm, not always look, you know, I'm not always looking for both, but it's such right. a fun chance to look around. And being that I am in real estate, I have, of course, copious amounts of people who have bought <laughs> properties sure. and have nothing to put in them because the supply chain and all right. this. So I've been sending all kinds of people by saying, go to J because every day you're just getting new, new stuff. stuff. We get in new every single day. Yeah. So it's really, I love that there's the two spaces combined. And I, I just, I think it's just so, I mean, Every, Thank you. you know, kudos, all good things. It's very, very exciting what's happening in your world. So thank you. I'm so happy for I you. And thank that. you for Absolutely. having me. I, I loved it. This was so fun. It's been wonderful having you on Mimi. Thank and you. thank you everyone for listening to the uh, True Fashionista's file. And um, we will see you on our next episode.